Tyler here with GP Knives, and we're back again for the week 42 weekly update. We'll start out this week with restock on the Hinderer XM18 3.5 inch Bowie. We got a 20 CV blade, standard Hinderer titanium frame lock construction. We got the triway pivot with bearings, but it can be customized with either phosphor bronze or nylon washers, which are included. Hardened steel lock face insert there. We've got a working finish, which is blasted and tumbled on this one, on both the blade and the handle. Satin tie hardware, and of course a red G10 scale. Nice snappy deployment with either the thumb studs or the flipper there. And we'll grab the Spyderco PM2 for a quick comparison. So pretty comparable in size. You can see, of course, that the thickness is a bit thicker. And then, of course, with the saber grind blade there, you're going to have a more robust tip. Handle thickness is a little thinner on the PM2. And then the functional grip area going to be pretty comparable on these two. We'll close that up here and close this up as well and take a look at a couple more variants. This one has a stonewashed blade green and black layer G10, and a stonewashed and bronze anodized tie back. And we'll compare that with this one, which has a working finish blade. So you can see the difference there. Much lower reflectivity on the working finish. And then comparison between these two, we've got the bronze anodized, and this is battle bronze, which is working finish with a bronze anodization. So, nice comparison on the finishes there. Great hard-use tactical folders, and we have several variations with different finishes and handle scales available now. And next up, we have the Riotnized Coyote. We've got a Bowler M390 blade with a polished bead blast on the grinds and satin on the flats. A nice recurve Bowie-style blade. Titanium handles with carbon fiber inlays. And we've got a couple different options for carbon fiber. You've got the straight unidirectional or the waved carbon fiber, both being that unidirectional carbon fiber. And construction on these two is going to be the same. So full titanium construction with dual carbon fiber inlays. You've got a blind screw clip or right hand tip up only carry. An inline lanyard attachment point there on the backspacer, which is milled with a little bit of a floating look there and some fine texture. Nicely contoured, of course, precise fit and finish and a snappy flipper deployment with ceramic bearing and detent. And again, we'll grab the PM2 here, pretty comparable size-wise. So great EDC knife, a little bit shorter in the overall length there, similar functional grip area. Take a look at the thickness here at the spine. So really similar there. Again, you've got a high saber on this, so a bit more robust at the tip, a bit thicker in the handle and then fairly similar in the footprint so a nice carry option there with plenty of style and performance and another knife we've got here another titanium frame lock flipper this is a ferrum forge design made by we and this is called the minax we've got a blasted and tumbled finish on the blade and a black bronze titanium definitely ferrum forge style here and you can see their logo there pretty minimal markings on the blade we got a 20 cv blade steel again hardened steel lock face ceramic bearings 3d machine type pocket clip and a nice snappy flipper deployment there does have this blade hole and 
can be deployed with the middle finger flick from underneath as well. Nice comfortable grip, fully functional finger choil, and a drop point recurve profile on the blade. And we also have this in a plain gray titanium handle as well. And next up, we also have another Wii knife. This is the Gava from Polish custom knife maker Rafał Braweski. And we've got another dark stone wash 20 CV blade here in a clip point profile with a high saber grind. We've got an interesting milled handle with a very neutral handle design. Another semi floating backspacer. 3D machine type pocket clip, hardened steel lock face insert equipped tie frame lock, and of course a ceramic bearing pivot and detent. Nice snappy and decisive deployment. This time I'm going to grab the Benchmade Bug Out, slightly smaller EDC knife. So you can see it's a bit bigger than the Bug Out. The cutting edge is going to be about the same. The blade stock thickness is pretty close, maybe a bit thicker. And you can see with the milling and the swedge on the blade, you get some interesting spine thicknesses there. A bit more robust out at the tip on the Gava. Handle thickness is going to be a bit thicker with the tie frame lock construction, but the overall handle design is actually pretty comparable there. And we'll close these up. Take a look at the footprint. So, fairly similar in the footprint. Obviously much heavier with the Altai construction, but very similar for daily carry. And no lanyard attachment point on this one. And again, you've got a right hand only tip-up carry pocket clip there. And next up, we're going to take a look at a new release from Kershaw, the Launch 13. It's got the same construction materials as the rest of the launch line. So we've got a CPM 154 blade steel. Nice Warncliffe style blade with a prominent and dramatic swedge there. We have black DLC on the spine and the milled flats. Nice bit of jimping there. Black hard anodized aluminum handle with a wasp like modern 3D milling. And you've got some through hole windows milled there. A nicely open milled spine, inline lanyard attachment point. You've got a reversible tip up only deep carry clip. And of course, a nice snappy coil spring deployment there. This is an in house design as indicated by the mark here on the blade, and it is 100% made in the USA. So great ultralight EDC automatic. You've got a three and a half inch blade coming in at under 2.5 in the overall weight. And I'll grab again the bug out here for size comparison. So it compares nicely to the bug out Plenty of cutting edge and a nice lightweight package. You got a similar handle and blade stock thickness, similar functional grip area. You can see, however, that this handle on the launch is a bit slimmer in the height. And then you can see here the carry profile, going to fall nicely into that ultralight EDC category. So great. All American auto with a nice modern futuristic style. And we've got a big restock on EDC knives from Civivi, and I'm just going to run through a few selections of different models here. We've got the popular EDC Elementum in satin finish D2 with green canvas micarta. And like this knife, all these knives are going to be stainless steel liner lock flippers. This one's got a right hand only tip up clip. They all have ceramic ball bearing pivots with a nice snappy flipper deployment. We've also got the Elementum in a purple G10, an unusual G10 color, but makes a nice colorful addition to your EDC. 
Next up, we've got the Dogma. This one has a D2 blade as well. Nice clip point there with two-tone brass handles. And this one has a reversible tip-up only clip. So nice hefty EDC with the brass scales. Similar to the Dogma, we have the Ortis. This is a more budget-friendly EDC. This has 9CR18 MOV stainless steel for the blade. And you've got a tumbled black finish on there. Green FRN with a smooth bolstered section and then texture on the rest. Black on the liners as well here. Nice flipper deployment. And then you've also got the blade hole there. And you can get that with the uh, middle finger flick. And this one also has the reversible clip. If you like the Ortis design, but you're looking for a bit of a step up, we've got the black hand rub Damascus, which has a 9CR18 MOV core. And then these are full carbon fiber scales. We'll take a closer look there. So you can see full carbon fiber, again, smooth bolster, textured on the grip, and reversible clip there as well. And then we've got the popular full-size EDC Insight. This one has a polished Damascus, same stainless steel core there. And then we've got a shred carbon fiber and copper resin handle scale on there. So a very striking look on this piece. Single position clip on this one, so right hand tip up only. And again, get that nice snappy flipper deployment. And last on the table here, we've got the Kershaw Link. And this one is a limited production run in a tiger stripe blade with black handles. This is a nice budget-friendly EDC that is made in the USA. Speed safe assist, liner lock flipper. Obviously nice and snappy on that. So a good hefty EDC user. And this one has 420 HC stainless steel for the blade. Very limited production on these. So get one while supplies last. And speaking of limited production, we've also got some very limited production run distributor exclusives from Spyderco. This is a gray and black Zome on the handle. Saber ground blade with 15 layer Damascus sides and a VG10 core. So a very striking look on this one. And again, these are limited production while supplies last. And we've got the Delica and the Endura in this configuration. And next up, we have some great new EDC carry sleeves from Arc Company. We have the Flint, the Boulder, and the Rambler XL. The Flint is an interesting one. You've got a sleeve on the front and a nice snap closure here. And this is specifically designed to carry your EDC items with a Zippo. So it's a Zippo sleeve on the inside. You can easily access it without undoing both snaps. And then of course, you've got the front sleeve for some small EDC items. And we have the Wee Knives banter here. So go ahead and talk about the banter a little bit. We've got a blade of S35VN in a drop point profile dual thumb studs, ceramic bearing pivot, inset stainless liner lock, and a G10 handle scale. And we'll take a look at it here with the new Spyderco Native 5 Lightweight in Spy 27. So you've got the same cutting edge. The functional handle area is going to be the same, not factoring in that finger choil. So the banter is going to be a bit smaller. Got a thinner blade stock thickness on the banter and slightly thinner on the handle thickness as well. Go ahead and close these up. Footprint is going to be nearly as wide on the banter, which is a bit surprising given that the spider hole tends to make things a bit wider. And the blade width on these is pretty comparable. But overall, this is a great EBC design. 
You've got a single position right hand tip up pocket clip, generous lanyard hole and open back construction and a nice smooth operation here with the ceramic bearings. So again, we've got that in the Flint Zippo carrier and we've got it in the navy blue colorway here. Next up, we have the Boulder EDC wallet. On the outside, we've got some smaller slips here for a pin or a pin light. EDC folder or flashlight here. You've got a sleeve on the back that you could use for commonly used cards. And then again, we've got a snap closure here. And on the inside, I've got a flash drive and EDC coin. But you could use this for folding money, cards, another pocket knife, or any number of combinations therein. And inside this, we have a new limited edition Olight flashlight. This is the i3T, AAA powered flashlight, very simple. You've got low and high, and that will click on or soft press for momentary. And it's in a nice red colorway with copper colored clip there. And last here, we have the Rambler XL. So this is a dual sleeve, very simple for larger EDC carry. And I've got it outfitted here with the Benchmade bug out and a Benchmade auto here. And that is the mediator in black coated S90V. So great EDC sleeve design, great for carrying longer lights or EDC folders. And we've got this one in the coal gray colorway. So all these available in multiple colors and great handmade US EDC organizer sleeves and wallets. Again, this is Tyler with GP Knives and your week 42 weekly update. Thanks for watching. Stay safe and stay sharp. If you like what you've seen today and you'd like to see more, follow us on social media. Like the video below and subscribe to our YouTube channel feed for updates on all new products.